So your final draft, you get to write on this pretty paper. Or if you want to write it just on lined paper, that's all right. But for your final draft, let's look at our example one first. And then we'll go through the worksheets you've had to create your final draft. So in a final draft, there should be some sort of heading. Go ahead and put the date so that your writers or your people you're writing to will know when you wrote it. You'll have a greeting, dear mom, dear Albert and Gretel and Dawson, whoever you're writing, you'll have the body. So that's idea one and idea two from your uh, writing my friendly letter planning organizer. Then you'll have a closing, which will say love always, sincerely, whatever you want to close it and your signature. So, your date. You are writing it today, so you would put May 5th, 2020. Notice I put a little comma between the five and 2020. That's one of our comma rules, that we put a comma in between the number date and the year date. Okay. And then this line is where you put who you're writing to. So reminder, I was writing to Albert, Gretel, and Dawson. So I'm going to start with a dear. Dear Albert. Gretel. Don't they have amazing names? And Dawson. Now, I'm writing to three of them, so it looks kind of funny when I put the comma, but if it would have just been Albert, I still would have put that comma there. And then you grab, sorry, mine got lost in my car. That's why in the other video I used this paper. Then you grab the my, writing my friendly letter, planning an organizer. And remember, I did the first idea you guys should have had both ideas written, and then you should have had your date and your greeting, so the dear, whoever you are writing. And then your closing. Closing, you could do sincerely, yours truly, your friend, your sister, your brother, love always, best wishes, or best, your son, your daughter, respectfully, regards, love, a lot of times I'll just write love Jamie just like that okay so in our example it says hi how is everything at home so I'm gonna start just like that I'm gonna say instead of hi I'm gonna say hello with an exclamation mark, because I want to, instead of just being hello, I want them to read it as, hello, how are you doing? So, how are you doing? You might even answer it with an, I'm doing Great. And then, so I asked the how are you doing question mark, and then I answered it like they're asking me the question. Also, I'm telling them I'm doing great, period. And then from there, I'm going to write my idea one. Obviously, I didn't do an idea two because I just showed you the example, but I want you to write idea one and idea two. So idea one said the other, sorry, I'm writing while I'm weak. And if you decide you want to change something at this time, this would be a good time. The other week I was washing dishes. And so I put and noticed Theo was missing. I'm going to put and I. 
because I feel like I sounds better. So notice I'm revising it as I'm writing it. And I noticed Theo was missing. Exclamation point, because that's huge. So I ran to the living room. to find him crawling away like a big boy. Okay, and then I've ended this idea with he didn't even drag his tummy on the ground. Exclamation point. Notice each and every sentence has an exclamation point, question mark, or period, depending on how I'm saying it. So if I was to read this to them, or say it out loud to them, I'd be, hello, how are you doing? I'm doing great. The other week I was washing dishes and I noticed Theo was missing. I ran to the other room to find him crawling like a big boy. He didn't even drag his tummy on the ground. So I'm really putting some emphasis on some of my words because it was an exciting moment for me. And then you write idea two after that. And then this line right here is where you do your closing. So the love always or uh, all of these that we kind of talk through, I normally just write love and I like to write it in cursive so it looks pretty. So love and then I'm going to put a comma after it and then I'm going to write my name. Love Jamie or since I'm writing my brother and his family. I won't write Miss B. I'll just write Jamie. 